Welcome to what I'm calling the Win Back Worker Series. This series is all about employers and employees and what the heck's going on with this new landscape as it relates to employment that we're all dealing with. I've been getting lots of questions. First question that people are asking me is, what is going on with all of these people resigning their jobs? It's about 4 million people a month last year resigned their jobs. What the heck's going on, Craig? Well, let me tell you, uh, I actually think that it's a really good thing, and I'll tell you why in just a minute. But people are calling it the great resignation. They're calling it the great reshuffle. Some people are calling it the big quit. I call it the great awakening. And as I mentioned, I think it's a really good thing. And I'll tell you why. There are three categories of people, for the most part, who have decided to resign their jobs. The first category is people who decided that they're in the wrong job, doing the wrong thing with the wrong people and they know what they want to do. So they're leaving to either start their own business or find another job that is more appropriate for them at this point in time. A second group of people, again, realize they're in the wrong job, doing the wrong thing with the wrong people, but they don't know what they want to do next. So they're going to take a little break and figure that out. And the third category is people who were very unhappy, upset, even with how their company treated them during the pandemic. And so they're not necessarily looking for a different job. They're looking for maybe the same job, but in a different location with a different company. You know, I have been saying for years, take some time to waste some time. You can either check uh, on the screen, check out that video that I did. And what that is all about is every now and then, on a routine basis, taking some time to slow down this crazy pace that we're all living at and evaluate your life. You know, for the most part, people have packed their lives so full of stuff. When I tell them, take a couple hours off and just reflect on your life, most of the time, the answer I get is, I don't have time to do that. Basically saying, I packed my life so full of stuff I don't really even have time to reflect on my life to see if the stuff I packed my life with is what's going to make me happy at this point in time in my life. And that last part is really critical. What may have made you happy several years ago or several months ago may not be what's going to make you happy now. Well, what happened was, as I've been encouraging people to do that on a routine basis, some people did, some people didn't, I think that the pandemic forced people to do that. People had more time than they maybe wanted to reflect on their lives. And because of that, some people said, Hey, Craig, you know, now that you mention it, now that you brought it to my attention, now that I've had some time to think about it, and then here's the list of things that they say following those statements. I hate my job. I'd rather be doing something different, and I've known that for a long time. I just haven't done anything about it. I'm on a dead-end career path. I've known that for a while, and again, haven't really pulled the trigger and done anything about it. I don't really have the work-life balance that I actually got during the pandemic. At least I got closer to the work-life balance uh, that I'd like to have. And you know what? That's pretty attractive to me. And this job that I've been in really hasn't afforded me that work-life balance that really I've always wanted. I kind of enjoy staying home with the kids. Staying home, I've got some new pets now. And staying home and having more of a family, I'm really enjoying that. And I don't like how the company treated me. And, you know, I've always believed, and this is me talking again, I've always believed that how something happens lingers with people longer than what happens. There are people that knew that things were going to change uh, throughout the pandemic, but the way the company went about them was particularly disturbing to them. So I don't really like the way the company treated me, and I'm going to search around for a better match for me at this point in time in my life. And then there's another thing that's entering into this, and this to me is a really big one. 
I'm calling it a slow burn. A slow burn is something that on a different level, maybe kind of in the recesses of your mind, people have been aware of and upset with, but because it's been in the back of your mind, not in the forefront, it's just been sitting back there burning slowly. And now that we get some time to think about it, there's a slow burn of discontent with what's going on in the world right now. You know, these last two decades have really shattered public trust. And so we're not trusting each other. We're not trusting politicians. We're not trusting leaders at the company. There's a lot of distrust there. People are finding out through this. You know what? I realized through this pandemic, my company did not have my best interest at heart in the way they manage things. You know what? I am worth more than you have been paying me. I really deserve better benefits than you've been getting. And this huge divide, this crater almost, between the haves and the have-nots, this slow burn, I've been upset about this for a pretty good while, and it's getting worse. And the people who are aware of it at my company don't really seem to be doing anything about it. There's also this mandate that I've been getting upset about. This is another slow burn. For years now, I've been hearing managers say, we need to do more with less in less time. Well, you know who that affects the most? It affects me, the have-nots, the people who aren't getting ahead. And what I saw during the pandemic is people like the 10 richest billionaires in the world doubled their net worth. And I'm expecting that that happened with a lot of, of the haves. A lot of the people who were positioned really well during the pandemic, their job really didn't change too much. They kept on making money, kept on growing. And you know what? The do more with less in less time, that was falling on people like me. And I go back to, I'm not being paid enough. And this 24-7, you know, uh, uh, lifestyle that I've been living, this constant working, doing more with less in less time is wearing me out I am burned out and I need to take a break. And so I think that there are uh, some, some real specific reasons why people have left the workforce. Why do I think it's a good thing? I know that those people who have left, once they determine uh, what they want to do, or if they've already determined that, when they actually take action and get started getting hired in the right job for them, or if they start their own business because that's what they've been wanting to do for years, there's an awful lot of people who are going to be a whole lot happier that they have redesigned their life in accordance with what's going to make them happy now. And I also believe that companies recognizing why so many people are leaving are going to be forced to change. They're going to be a force to adjust what they are offering people. You're already seeing it, you know, as, as, as people are hiring on, they are getting uh, pay raises uh, or the, the people who are there are getting pay raises. The new people are getting higher uh, salaries and they're getting better benefits. So companies are already adjusting to what the generations that are in the workforce right now are asking for. What that's going to translate into is employees that are happier, and they're probably going to stay there longer. So companies are going to benefit. So the employees are going to benefit. The employers are going to benefit. I think it is a short-term inconvenience right now. It doesn't feel good. But when this all settles out, and I'm not sure how long that's going to take, but when it does, I think an awful lot of people in the companies and the, and the employees are going to be happier. That's my take on things. I really appreciate you watching. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Please share this with anybody else who you believe would benefit by it. I want to thank you again for watching. Till next time, stay cool, have good thoughts, See ya.